I feel like I'm out Halloween decor hunting and it's only April. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Nyx Namor, lover of all things darkly inclined, spooky, and witchy. So today we're at Michael's and like I said, I feel like I'm out Halloween decor hunting because essentially one of their summer lines looks like it could easily fit with one of their Halloween lines. This is the Nevermore line. Now, Nevermore, it's pink, it's black, it's considered to be dark academia, a whimsy goth. Honestly, for those of us who've watched the Netflix show Wednesday, it's giving Wednesday and Enid vibes, admittedly. But as it was brought to my attention uh, from one of my Swifty co-workers who saw photos of the line, she thought it would fit in very well with TTPD. For those of you who don't know what TTPD is, that would be the Tortured Poets Department, which is Taylor Swift's latest album that was released on the 19th. This line was also released on the 19th. Now, I have already gone in once to pick up some items that I needed for my decor that I'm working on for spring, but everything wasn't completely set yet. It is one day later. I'm hoping that everything is as set as it's going to be for this drop. And I'm also kind of hoping that people already haven't been through it this morning, but I'm going to show you everything that I can show. And I can say from what I did see yesterday, it's a really good line, y'all. It's a really, really good line. So without further ado, let's head in. Okay, so I'm going to try to go through this piece by piece, um, and I'm trying to be as respectful as possible to shoppers. So if my voice is a little quiet, that's why I'm wearing this little microphone here, so I can whisper if need be. So starting off, we have wall decor. This could also be hung on a tree, so if anyone has any sort of greenery or anything that they are planning on decorating for spring or summer, this would work very well. I actually do like the gold accents on the wings and it's actually pretty heavy duty. Have pretty heavy duty. We also have a black face with a black rose on it. This is only six inches tall. Comparison for my hand. Okay. While it is heavy duty, I wouldn't put too much in this because I'd be afraid if it's tall, you'd knock it over. Um, it is porcelain. Not too much else to say about this. I will say I do like the shape. Those of you who have been with me for a while know I love a good coffee mug and even though this is smaller than most of my coffee mugs, there's a good chance I'm getting away uh, with this one at some point. Uh, I'm not a morning person. This is very true. I love the design, the filigree, as well as the flowers at the top and the bottom. I mean, this could hold your standard cup of coffee. I'm more like a coffee bowl person porcelain as well. Moving on, also porcelain. And I, I've been debating getting this teapot. Yes, this is food safe. Yes, you can actually put tea in this to serve. I wish, honestly, instead of a coffee mug, they actually had teacups, but to each their own. This is a pretty hefty teapot. Roses all over, gold accents, Actually, let me see if I can show you. Yeah, gold accents at the top. Camera's not wanting to focus at the moment, but there is gold accents at the rim also. This is a book vase and Love and Curses, a dark romantic novel. All right, so I might be getting this. Admittedly, I'm not a paint person, but I do like the whole dark romance thing. So this one is porcelain. Um, you could probably hold whatever you want in here. You could use this on the desk for holding pens, pencils. If you're a person who likes quills, even that. Um, or actually put some flowers on it. in it. That would also work pretty well. And then right next to it is just a black hand. Reminiscent of thing. Like I said, this thing feels... <laughs> this line feels very much inspired by Wednesday. So 
I was wondering when we were going to have a thing reference. And I do like this. Also kind of porcelain. Yep, and the thumb areas at the bottom do grip. So it, yeah, it takes a little bit to actually get that to move. So it's not going to be like an accidental push, knock off the ledge. There you go. And we also have another book base, The Wild Romantic Poetry. Okay, now see, this one feels more TTPD for all of you Taylor Swift fans out there. So yeah, same thing as this other one here. Are they the same size? Yes, they are. So we have this. Crafters and decorators, I am not forgetting about you folks, considering I am one of you. We have a pink and black plaid um, ribbon here, wired ribbon. Uh, two and a half inches by six yards. We have this. Then you have, um, I'm going to be blinking on the type of pattern, but jacquard, I think. Uh, please correct me if I am wrong. I am so sorry. Also wired, but much thinner. This one is one and seven eighth inch by one yard. Then we have our black lace. Are you wired? No, this one's not wired. One and five eighths by three yards. And this one looks more like black netting, a la what you would see for like a face veil. Um, from like 1920s style uh, face veils. It's almost like a netting, like an almost to God netting. So that one also is not lined four inches by six yards. So this is a table plate. Um, I would actually use this in an entryway. So it is brown with gold accents, wood, lightweight, Yes, it's listed as tabletop decor. So I would probably use this as like a key holder, change holder, throw whatever you want in it holder, and try your best not to make everything look cluttered, even though it's gonna be cluttered because that's just how we are. Also, hand for reference. Next, is this a wall sign? Yes, it is, and it is a metal wall sign. Love is patient, love is kind. Gold accents around the edges, lettering in gold. Background is black. This is technically a wall art sign. Honestly, if you wanted to hang that outside, that could work pretty well. Um, if you're a crafter, you could very easily adhere a stake to the back of this and put it in your yard and it would do just fine. Or you can hang it on your front door. That would also work just fine. Up next, we have pillows, all the pillows. Michael's always has great pillows. Okay, so we have pink and white in these square cushion pillows. So it's actually very pillowy. Feels kind of like velvet. Um, if you get things dirty very easily, I would not recommend the white. <sighs> Pink, I know somebody who I work with actually who would love this, so I'm gonna have to point this in her direction. Not too much to say about this, except I could see this for just about anybody for um, spring decor or even we're past Valentine's Day, but even that, um, anything of that sort. It's just this very nice, calming color palette. Next up, more wall art. Yes, you even have the twine back here, as well as a metal bracket. It is framed, gold accent in the inner frame, and it is old books and manuscripts. And I am seeing a quill and an ink pot here. And that almost looks like sheet music to me. So kind of ye old, ye, ye oldy library. Very muted colors. Not much to say about this. Switching on to more wall decor and painting style. This one has a different type of frame. This one is gold accented or like weathered gold over brown, kind of like a bronze really. Books, I'm seeing old style lamps, chalice, uh, old style glasses. I mean, everything about this very much is kind of in the dark academia vein. I can easily, easily see that. So this one is more of a rectangle, I'd say. I'm not good on my measurements when it comes to paintings and photographs. I apologize. But yeah, there's actually a couple of photos that you folks can choose from, and I'll get to those in a moment. Next up, we have some faux floral of pink roses, red roses, some black flowers, 
this very, yeah, just essentially, honestly, this is quintessential dark academia color palette, in all honesty, with a white jar, it is porcelain, and a black eye sketched on. I really like the artistic design of that eye. I am all about anything sketch based and whatnot. So closer look at some of the flowers here. And I bet you anything that you could probably remove these. I don't want to risk it. Yeah, you could, let me see. Yeah, you could remove those flowers if you wanted to and put something else in there. Um, whatever struck your fancy for the year. Up next, and one of my favorites, because I have a collection of typewriters that I am actually using to decorate my house with for this season. So we have a black old style typewriter. I would say this is actually based off of a Remington or an Underwood, if I'm not mistaken. Um, that's me being nerdy. Uh, with the paper print of Bad Decisions Make Good Stories. As a fellow writer, yes, this is very, very true. Kind of lightweight, wooden. Wooden. Um, I would say, yes, I believe these letters are all stickers, so be wary of that. Oh, I didn't realize this was a plate. Okay, so we have a porcelain, I would say a dessert plate. This is a clock face. Um, reads the time 7.33 for some reason. Kind of simple, but I really do like that. We have a working clock. I'm blanking on the material here, but it's not true metal, but it's also not true plastic. This does look to be glass, it feels like glass, um, or it could be some of that plastic glass. It is battery operated, I believe it uses a double A, yes, single double A, and you could probably hang it if you so wished. I also like the old style hands for the clock. This is tabletop decor. Um, Michael's always has good tabletop decor, specifically when it comes to books. So old style book in the back. Even has the book binding back there. Hand with butterflies and script inside. It says a new chapter unfolds. For more tabletop decor, we have a wood block of a typewriter, also of a Remington or Underwood style. So old style black typewriter with flowers on it, and I don't know if it's going to show up all- yes, there it is. In the end, we'll all become stories. I love that quote. I'm going to remember that quote, in all honesty. Okay, these are individual books. I thought these were stacks, and they are lined and open. Okay. And we also have some larger ones of the same kind. So I'm going to quickly go through these books. So. We have some that are pink, not much, not really anything special on the binding, black, kind of a purplish gray, we also have a bright pink, Encyclopedia Britannica, and then all of these, which are huge, yeah, this one's really big. Nothing really truly special on the covers, but if you need to store some things, but also have some books out and about, that's a way to do it. These are wall signs that you have to put in or hang on on nails. So we have one that says pretty much kind of like as if you're in a library. Again, Dark Academia. Also another one that says Quiet. Now, okay, this isn't porcelain, but it feels like it. That's so interesting. Here we have book stands. Uh, for those of you who love to cook and bake, this is also for good. This would also be good for holding a cookbook. Gold, somewhat metallic, I would say. The top part feels a little kind of flimsy in comparison to other book stands I know. But then again, I have some heavy, heavy duty book stands, so I might be a little biased in that. It is still a very, very pretty piece. Okay, this is wall. All right, so there's the hooks in the back. So we have two different designs here 
of what seems to be gothic arches. So here's a second design. If you are very, um, if you're very adventurous, you could probably find a way to stand that up somehow. But I do love these. Actually, I was drawn to these first and foremost. I just didn't know what I would do with them, which is unfortunate because they are so pretty. And they are wooden, by the way. And that is really nice wood grain in there, how you can feel the textures. That's not painted on, folks. That is actually there. Next up, vintage style perfume bottles and sprayers. So you have black, pink, and clear. So they act like they could work, but I'm not seeing any sort of tube that would be used to draw up the liquid. Can I open you? No, you cannot open these. Cannot. Um, I could tell that it was giving me some serious force whenever I tried to twist it. So I would not recommend trying to open this. Up next, some more tabletop decor. This is plastic. I believe we have a male presenting and a female presenting bust here with lace over the eyes. I actually really like that accent. Um, as a gothic and metal belly dancer, I have actually seen a couple of performers perform with lace like this. Really beautiful, by the way. And looks like they are blowing bubblegum. Uh, also an interesting note here, the neck, while it ooh, is very well defined also for the clavicles, um, there is nothing around the neck here. Well, there is a little choker here with like a little gem in it. Okay, I just realized these actually light up. So fun little addition to these. Also have some miniature vases or vases. This would be nice to put like one small flower in, and I mean like small flower. I've seen some YouTubers do that before, um, and I actually really do like little accents that does give. So clear, almost mermaid style glass. This is a porcelain kind of catch-all plate, porcelain black lace design on the side that is painted on, or I'd say adhered or heated on. It says being weird is beautiful. Yes, it is. This I'm assuming is just to look cute. Um, this is a tabletop decor of a black dress, white pearl beads, and it looks like it'd be like a little dressmaker's mannequin. Honestly, okay. If someone wanted to use the top of this as a pen cushion, you probably could to a certain degree. It wouldn't get very far, but it could do it. So I do like this. Let's see. It's kind of like a satin material with black floral appliques around the center like a belt. And hold on, is that belt? No, the belt does not stretch. Sorry, I thought it might. Don't try to stretch the belt. We also have, this is something I haven't seen them do before. I will say that. So these are wall decor, pink flowers. So it actually shows you what it's supposed to look like on the tag of how you're supposed to put it up on the wall. So you do have this loop here and I bet they bend. Yes, it does bend a little bit. So you can actually mold the back of this to whatever you need to get this to hang the way you want. Now, this is something that I was not expecting. I personally don't think this goes with the line, but it is cute. I think personally for like a kid, perhaps. So it is a gold roller skate with a gold shoelace. And it is a vase. So you could put flowers in this. There's a lot of vases this time around. So that's nice. If you're a crafter, you could probably repaint this a different color if you so wish. I know there are people that do that or add more accents to it. So we have a set of ceramic jars here. Now, I like how the front of these are different. For, this is mostly white. This is mostly black. The patterns. Yeah, the patterns kind of rotate. So we have secrets, fibs, and glitter. You can keep the glitter away from me. Um, since these are actually wrapped to stay together, which is smart, I'm not too sure of how the opening in this is. So they probably aren't food safe sealed. Actually, are you food safe at all? It doesn't say it's food safe, so I would not recommend putting food in that, but you could probably put something in there. 
So probably say ribbons or anything or items for getting ready for the day or whatever you want. If you're a crafter, so be it. Or you could put like paint, like write on paper secrets. I don't know. You would do whatever you do, folks. Next, we have a stained glass rose. It looks pink, but it's actually got some really nice purple accents here. Candlestick holders. I really like this. Specifically, I like the texture. We have two different heights. So this one, I'm betting it's six inches. Okay, so I know for a fact this is six inches. So this looks to be seven, seven inches. So if I had to guess, I would say seven and 11 inches or seven and 12. I, I don't know. I am not good with measurements and just eyeballing them. That's why I always usually have, that's why I usually use a measuring tape in some degree. But these are kind of porcelain. Yeah, these are porcelain. Is deep enough for a taper candle. I know Michaels currently has some taper candles on sale too right now. So you can put that in there. Next up, we have a canvas print. Okay, so the frame is like a light cedar. I really like this. Okay. I love the muted tones of this, some white, black, some grays, a hint of pink. Like this is very, very muted, but really pretty. This would be easy to hang up on the wall or lean against a wall while standing on a bookshelf. That's what I have one painting or one canvas print that I have. Um, that's the design I chose with it for right now. So really, really pretty flowers in this. Speaking of flowers, we have a white vase or vase here. Yes, you could put flowers in it. Very simple in its design. This one goes very well with the teapot I showed earlier. This is porcelain. Is it? Okay. The only concern I have with this is the fact that it's so thin, it could very easily get knocked over. So I would put this as far back against a wall as possible. And while we're on this level here, we have a white, not white, we have a clear jar with a black lace trim that goes up halfway. And then around the neck of the bottle, we have a choker with a cameo in it. There we go. So there's the cameo of a woman with pearls, hair up, and I believe a flower on her shoulder. When I was here yesterday, this is one thing I did buy because I want this to hold flowers in my kitchen for me. I also like the fact that since it's clear, you can also tell when you need to change the water. For an interesting wall decor piece, we have a black frame and this, okay, this is actually textured. So it is black netting and black polka dots over a pink background, black bow, and this is I think this is actually porcelain. A uh, porcelain piece in the center where you could put something in. This is an actual pocket. So I suppose if you want to, you could put a flower in there or anything else you want to in there. This is heavy. This is very, very heavy. So if you're gonna hang this, I would use a stud. Um, I would also reinforce in some way, shape or form. Yeah, you can even tell how heavy this is because this is leaning down because of how heavy it is. More with hands, not thing styled, but just regular styled, I should say. White porcelain, painted gold in the palm. One thing that I would recommend for this is put your rings on it. That's what I've done in the past with things like this, especially since there's actually gaps between the fingers. Um, last year, I think the year before that, they released the um, palm palmistry design that was like this, but the fingers were closed together, so you couldn't use that for holding rings on. This you can. Okay, this is not food safe. You can use this in your bedroom or wherever. Um, with how it's painted, I would avoid anywhere that's moist. Oh, hold on. And there's a powdery residue on the back of this. And I'm going to move this ever so slightly because I'm afraid it's going to fall over. But if you look closely, there is a snake there. A coiled snake in the shape of a heart. So whatever trinkets you want, I'd probably put change in there or something else of that sort in there. 
Next up, we have hat boxes. Hat. So we have plaid, so we have more of a purple plaid, pink plaid, two different style of cameos. This, this is velvet. Oh, this is nice black velvet on top. So cardboard, black, I mean not black, geez, white cardboard in the center. So you could hide it or put in here whatever you want. For me, I actually do have hats that fit in mine. Me as a child would have loved this. Okay, so pink and black plaid with a black um, chiffon style. It's a style. Chiffon like texture, I should say. Um, design on the ends. It says, oh my goth. Now, it does have plenty of give. This material is not nearly as comfy as the pillow over there. So this is more like bed, like decorative bed pillow. There's nothing here right now, but that's because I bought the thing that was here yesterday. So I will show that here. It was a mirror, black rim, kind of like a very um, artsy frame with flowers and uh, filigree designs and everything else. Still debating where I'm going to put it, but I have a good feeling that that's going to be one of my everyday year-round decor instead of seasonal decor. Now, I'm going to move these so we don't have any glare from lights, trying to at least. So we have two different glass framed pieces, gold frame for both of these. So this is very kind of like 1800s, I would guess, 1800 style painting. I am not very knowledgeable when it comes to art, so please don't come for me in the comments. But we have a woman with black hair and a black style gown and a white bow. And then you have your stereotypical lady in white. Uh, she has red hair though. More decor. We have a gold chair or like go a gold love seat with an eye in the back. I'm not too sure what that material is. I would just use this as tabletop decor. I really wouldn't put anything on it because of how rounded that seat is, or it kind of feels like it would be rounded. I don't know what would stay on it. Kind of a weird piece, but hey, if it's up your alley, Michaels has it. This is lovely. And if I already didn't have a tray um, in my coffee bar, I would buy this to put it there instead. I adore this piece. Put this on your coffee table, put this in your kitchen, put this wherever you want. This is gorgeous. I love the gold filigree accents and the flowers in the center and the fact that it's mostly black. Oh, that's just so nice. And it's made out of wood. This is glass. We love eyes apparently in this line. So this looks to be painted. Gold edge. We also have what looks to be faux marble spheres, one white, one black. I say faux because they are very, very light. They are flat in the bottom and I'm wondering, I think there's actually a hole underneath the tag here. So honestly, a paperweight, something just, something pretty to look at essentially. Bird cages, you can do a lot of artistic things with these and i like how it opens at the top do they both do that yes they do so you open at the top instead of in the sides so you can actually get your whole hand in there so crafters have fun with this one you could probably yep both of them yeah both of them have rings so you can actually hang these if you so wish admittedly i've not seen something like this from michael's before <laughs> It is a chest, but you can carry it on the side. Flowers. Oh, you could carry it on both sides, actually. Flowers. Okay. Decorative cardboard. Lined cardboard, I should say. So you could hide stuff in here if you so wish. Honestly, you can make this be your book chest. That's honestly what I would do. I really like how smooth that is. Back to the pillows and again, the eyes. Okay, so this is velvet, velvet exterior. The beading here is actual beading they put on. Tassels, if you have a cat, 
um, be prepared for these to be destroyed. Back is plain dark pink. Kind of a mauve, actually. Let's see, how soft are you? This is not nearly as soft as the first one, but this would be a good sofa pillow. Now these are interesting. These are just frames, just plain decorative frames that you could hang up on your wall just for texture and everything else. So there, yes, there's a square one. So we have gold, white, more like a cream color, and a black, two different designs. This one's my favorite. You can probably guess why. And of course, we do have a wreath. This matches the flowers in the white porcelain jar I showed earlier. So this almost looks like it's lavender, but it's just black plastic lavender. Not too much to say about this. I just really love the colors in this. We have two more hanging items or wall decor. So these are moths. That's fairly hollow. I'm not too sure of the material, but it is lightweight. Same also with this one. Same hollowest, also very, very lightweight for hand reference. So you are a vase or a vase. Okay, I was wondering about that. So it is a black hand with a wrist and a bit of forearm. And down between the forefinger and the thumb is an opening for some flowers. That is cool. Okay, I actually really, really like this. Honestly, this line is also giving me very Parisian designs too. This is a ceramic vase with a floral design on front. This is not a sticker. This is actually painted on. So we have flowers, uh, butterfly, pink heart, these little edge corners here, which don't really do anything, but you have five openings up here. So I'm guessing you could put five single small flowers in this. One of the weirder looking items in this line, but I, I, it's not my thing. It's just very different. Okay, we have a black butterfly picture frame. I think I had something like this when I was a child. This is a four by six inch. That's glass there. And the butterflies are actually stuck on there. Kind of like a heavy duty. Um, it's not plastic but it does feel really, really stable and sturdy. And then finally in this line, we have another trinket holder. Okay, this is also stuck together, um, or tied together, I should say, by plastic. Honestly, put your jewelry in here. Um, again, with the texture of the paint on this, I probably wouldn't put it where there's anywhere of high moisture content but there is a flower on top, actually kind of 3D. So for hand, kind of up to like my first knuckle. Well, that's it for everything that is currently out for the Nevermore line here. As you can see, we still have some open spots um, all over the place. So more stuff will be coming. I don't know if I'm gonna do an update to this video if like when they do come out because I can't keep track of when certain deliveries are coming and which ones aren't and what's going to be on trucks and so on and so forth. So if you liked what you saw, or at least you're interested in this line, check your local Michaels, check online to see if anything grabs your eye. Those of us who are Halloween decor hunters and Halloween lovers, this feels like a lovely tease um, for halfway to Halloween because um, we know that most of the lines that we see from Michaels for actual true Halloween don't come until August, maybe late August, early September. So this is a nice, like, taste, an amuse-bouche, so to speak. And also for Taylor Swift lovers and fans, well, 
if you want to get in the TTPD spirit, this is a good way to do it. So, the Nevermore lines, something that uh, goths and Swifties can agree on? I'd say so. And this isn't saying that a goth can't be a Swifty. That's not it at all. Like what you like, enjoy what you enjoy. Okay, folks? So, that's it for me today. If you like this content, leave a like. Um, leave a comment down below. I appreciate every single one of you. And I will see you in the next one. And remember to go after whatever your dark heart desires. Later.